street Jack turned into, he must be in one of these huts. Yes, but which one? We shouldn't have let him use himself as bait, even to uncover the headquarters of the Black Samurai. Right, they're the most dangerous spy ring in the Orient. And Fräulein von Teufel would stop at nothing to get the secret of the man en route to India. of the Mandon secret. I still don't know. Perhaps I can help you to remember. Notice the floor of the pit under you. It is a float. Water forced in from the river is raising it up the shaft. Wing, I found a way out. I advise you to answer my questions before it reaches you. I tell you, I don't know the Mandon secret. Then be a fool if you like, and die with the secret. I can't tell you. I can't because I don't know. Here. Stand by. Jack, there's a pull cord over there. Try it. It may open this thing. Boy, I never thought I'd get out of there in one piece. And what good did it do you? Well, at least I got a look at the elusive Fräulein von Teufel. Was that the woman we just saw? Sure. Well, let's find her. Forget it. She's probably got a hundred hideouts around here. Now, let's get out. And no more of this sort. It's not worth the risk. I don't know about that. At least I took their attention away from Ma Ling. He'll be alive tomorrow to give China the Mandan secret. Secret of the Mandan Road? No. His friends arrived and saved him. So, the infallible Fräulein von Teufel has failed. I learned, however, that Ma Ling has not given the secret to China. Then it's still possible for him to die without telling it. Yes. It could happen at the conference tomorrow. Do you think anyone can reach him with soldiers on constant guard? I can. I shall be present with the other foreign correspondents. Oh, yes. I had forgotten for the moment. You are the expert on Asiatic affairs for syndicated press, aren't you? Of course, if you kill him, you'll be caught and hanged. I hardly think so, Kagiyama. Very efficient when the point is first properly treated. So you see, even if we don't get the secret, we can keep China from learning it. That the members of the press may more readily understand this historic event, it is best that I summarize. The governor of Mandan possesses certain information of vital importance to China. He has submitted the terms under which he will give us this information. You ladies and gentlemen of the press have been invited here with the distinct understanding that you will publish nothing which transpires here without official permission. Our sympathies are with China. We should do nothing to jeopardize her safety. I thank you. Nevertheless, I shall read and personally censor everything you write. His Excellency, the Governor of Mandan Province. Let us waive formality, please. You have read my humble suggestions. I have. And you understand my people's wish that the road be closed after the war? 
I do, and you have China's promise the road will be closed. That is good. I can trust China, but there are two ends to every road. Only England can guarantee to close the end that lies in India. England will agree. I have approached the British minister through Captain Thompson. He tells me there's a foreign office member now in Hong Kong who will secure the British signature to the pact. That will be satisfactory. In that case, Now, will Your Excellency trust us with a secret? Yes. But first, I must go to Hong Kong for the British signature. But, Your Excellency, a trip will mean delay. Haste has never been a virtue. Very well. I shall place a plane at the disposal of Your Excellency. I should like Captain Martin to fly the ship. But, Your Excellency, I have already accepted Captain Martin's Resignation from the Chinese army. You see, Your Excellency, I'm on my way home to the States. My country, too, needs flyers now. You will be serving your country far better, I believe, by helping me. Hong Kong's on your way home, Jack. Well, I guess you got me there, Tommy. Then that is settled. Captain Wing will go as my representative. I've got to follow through on this story. I'll charter a plane and see you in Hong Kong. Bye. Any further word from Fräulein von Teufel? Well, unless it came in back there, Mr. Hardigan. Hmm. I don't understand that. I was advised she landed an hour ago. More from the floor line? Nothing since you radioed this morning. Have you carried out those instructions? To the letter. Let me check her message to make sure. Jack Martin and important passengers en route Hong Kong. Have reservation, Crown Hotel. Reserve room across hall for an invalid on wheel stretcher and have ambulance standing by. Have you had any definite word from Jack about the conference? He is still at the commissioner's office. He's on the phone now. You see, the conference with Ma Ling is set for nine tonight. Yes. Sir Cedric feels we shouldn't lose any time. Of course they've arranged a guard for Ma Ling. Two of their best men. Right. Thank you, Commissioner. Sir Cedric, see you at nine tonight. Captain Martin says we must be ready to leave by 8.30. I shall tell His Excellency. I think I'd better freshen up before dinner. See you later. Writing's outfitting. HKH? Fräulein von Teufel speaking. Oh, yes, Fräulein. Everything progressing as planned. Marling's conference scheduled for 9 tonight. Relay this information to submarine. I'll attend to it at once. Well, that's fine, thanks. That was the desk. The cars are ready and two guards are on their way up. Don't knock. Keep your mouth shut. In here. Sam, we've got to work fast. Hello, desk. Are you sure those guys have the right room number? All right, thanks. Certainly taking their time getting here. 
Denver police sent to escort Governor Marling. Good. We're all ready to go. Anything can happen in a crowd. We have orders to escort only one man, the governor. There are two cars down in front. One for you people, the other for us. I'll phone the commissioner and tell him we're on our way. All right, we'll wait for you downstairs. Desk, give me the deputy commissioner's office, please. Well, the line is busy. I'll call them later. Thank you. We're ready to go, Your Excellency. I contacted the submarine that's standing by for its passenger. Now, well, the passenger will be ready in a few minutes. I'm going back and see what's keeping those guards. It couldn't have taken them this long to phone the commissioner. Be back in a minute, folks. Smell chloroform? I certainly do. That stretcher we saw going out when we came in, do you suppose? Do what you can for him, Wing. Hello. Hello. Hello, desk. Captain Martin speaking. Two men with a hospital stretcher just went down the back way. Stop them even if you have to shoot. What? In an ambulance? Yes, Commissioner. Marlene's disappeared. Hello, this is Martin. Two men dressed as interns got away with them. They drove away from the rear of the hotel in an ambulance. Right. Please headquarters, quickly. In heaven's name, what is it? What's happened? Marlene's being abducted and... Get every available man on the street. Stop all ambulances and hold them for investigation. A Chinese official is being abducted in one. <laughs> I never saw either one of these men before. Not that I recall. Well, did you notice anything out of the ordinary about them? Well, nothing special. I remember one thing, though. There was a stretcher and a couple of hospital coats in this room. Did they look like a ship steward's coat? Well, it was possible. Why? Just a hunch. This rope they used on you is sheeting off a small sailboat. Does that help any? Well, it narrows the search down to the waterfront. Hello. Martin speaking. Where did you find it? Thanks. The police found the ambulance. Tommy, stand by for any incoming calls. Find something? Yeah, but it may not mean anything. When you lose a button, replace it with this and think of Hardigan's. You know any store by that name? It's probably on the waterfront. It's a sailor's outfitting store on Dock 12. Well, phone Tommy Thompson at the Crown Hotel and tell him where we're going and have police standing by in case we need them. Right. Thompson speaking. Yes? Where? I see. Thank you. Jack's got a clue, but a slim one. What kind of a clue? Seaman's outfitting store called Hardigan's. I've got to write a lead on this story. In here and batten it down. I'll let you know when the way is clear. Well, he's in there, ready for shipment, and... Uh... 
Yes? Wait here, Wynn. You may have to go for help. Yes, I understand. Fräulein says Martin's on his way down here. How'd he locate us? The police with him? No, he's alone. But he'd recognize you. Get in there. Something for you, sir? Yes, I'd like to look at some steward coats. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just sold the last two this afternoon. Do you mind telling me who you sold them to? No, they were strangers to me. Oh, a couple of big huskies, about uh, 30 years old, I should think. Why? Uh, never mind. Thanks. Get into the back room and tell the others to get ready to load the box on the target. Hey. Any luck? I'm not sure. He talks straight enough, but someone was spying on me through a crack in the door. We can't pass up any chance, no matter how slim it is. You're right. You start around the rear. I'll phone the police. Hello. Hello, Tommy. Send the police. Go on, Jack. Send the police where? Down to San the 410 Water Street and no stalling. Jack, is there some trouble? Uh... No, Tommy, nothing's wrong. Send the police to 410 Water Street. Okay, Hardigan, I suppose now I go back to your place on the docks as a prisoner. You're a smart guesser. What's happened? Jack's been caught. Hello? Get the police. Send them to Hardigan's. It's somewhere on the docks. And hurry. It may mean life or death. Is Marling... Yeah, Marling's in there on his way to the Japanese sub. Get in there. So, you know him, eh? Well, it won't do you any good. Get that box and open it. You boys get outside and get the other one that's snooping around. Now get inside. You're going in that box. Now it's up to you whether you go alive or not. Tug and lose him as soon as you can. Well, lose it right here. Throw it over. It won't float long. <laughs> 